What's going on guys? John Alter here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete a record from the database with our Treebase app with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at deleting records from the database. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books. One time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so moving right along in our Treebase app here. In this video, we want to talk about deleting records from the database. Now, I've already got a button on here that allows us to remove something from the Treebase app but that just removes it from the tree view itself. It's not actually deleting it from the database. So in this video, we're gonna look at deleting it from the database. And this is actually pretty easy. So let's head back over to our code. And I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kinter playlist with, I don't know, almost 200 other Kinter videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't already. So this is the code we've been working on in the last few videos. And if we come down here to the bottom here, we see we've got this remove one button. And if we look at the command, it's calling this remove one command. So we can come up here and look at our remove one command that we created, I don't know, four or five videos ago. And here it is, remove one. And you can see what it's doing is it's grabbing something from the tree view, whatever we've clicked on, whatever we've selected, and then it's just deleting it. And that's fine, that deletes it from the, the tree view itself, but that's not actually deleting it, like I said, from the database. So how do we delete it from the database? So that's actually really easy. So like any time we're doing anything with the database, we need to connect to the database, create a cursor, and then commit our change and close our connection. So I'm just gonna come down here to where we did that earlier. And let's see, right here is a good one. And I'm just gonna copy all this stuff. And let's just bring it up here to our remove one function and paste it in. Now we obviously don't want all this stuff and we don't want all this stuff. But we do want to connect to the database. This is our tree underscore CRM database. We want to create a cursor, and then we're going to do something here. And then when we're done, we want to commit those changes to the database and then close our connection. So that's what we always do. So what do we actually want to do? Well, if we head back over to the terminal really quickly, and let's run this app again. And you'll also notice the top of this is in all the other videos, it's been dark gray. My windows updated overnight, and the, the, the color scheme for Windows desktop stuff got knocked back to a default. So I'm seeing this blue here. So whatever, I'll change that later, maybe in my Windows settings. But for now, who cares? But anyway, when we click on one of these guys, for instance, here, uh, Tester McTesterson, you can see it puts all the stuff in these boxes. So after we remove one, like right here, we just removed it, we removed it from the tree view, didn't delete it from the database, but this field is already right, is still full of stuff, right? So we want to probably delete everything that's in there. And we'll do that. But also look at this, the ID. Remember, our ID is what designates every unique record. So every record has a unique ID. And we're pulling it from this column ID right here. But this is the row ID, the primary ID from the database. So when we want to delete a record, we want to delete a record with ID 31, for instance. We don't want to delete Tina because there could be 50 Tinas in the database. And we don't want to delete somebody with the last name of elder, because there could be 50 elders. There's only one person with ID of 31 though. So we can tell the database, delete the record with ID of 31. So that's how we do that with databases. Now it's just with Kinter with all databases. Anytime you ever want to delete a record, you're always going to delete it by its unique primary key, its unique ID number. So we could do that, head back over here. And to do that, let's say delete from database. Let's go c.execute. Anytime we do anything with the database, we're taking our cursor C and we're executing a SQL command. And what SQL command do we want? Well, we want to delete from our customer's database table, right? Where now we want to say what we want to delete. Well, well we want to delete where the ID or the primary key, but in SQLite 3 database language, the primary key, the row ID is called the OID. Right, so we want to set that to where the OID equals something. Well, where do we get the ID number? Well, we can come down here and remember we have this box, this, uh, let's see, ID entry box. Let's find a better one here. Right here, ID entry. So we could just dot get whatever's in that box because if we've clicked on a record, then the ID number 
for that record is sitting in that entry box, right? So we can grab that. And we just come back up here. And you would think you would put it in like that, but you don't. What you do is leave it like this. And then we want to concatenate and just pop it on at the end. And really, that's all there is to it. Now, we also want to delete all those entry boxes whenever we click, you know, remove. So let's come down here. And remember, we've got this clear entries function, we could just call it. So let's come back up here. And let's say down here, let's go uh, clear the entry boxes. And we could just call that function and that will do it. So okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. Like I said, it's really easy to do that. And it's really just that easy. So we can come down here. And we could see tester McTesterson with ID number 32. When we click on it, it pops up. It's in these boxes. So we can come down here and remove one selected and then boom, it disappears there. Tester McTesterson is gone there. So we can confirm this by closing this and opening it back up again. And if it really deleted it from the database, that 32 should be gone. And it is 31 is the last one. And now we just tester McTesterson is no longer there. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, when we delete something here, like this, it just kind of removes it there, I would like a little pop up box to pop up just to, you know, get some some closure in my own mind, just some little thing that pops up and says, yes, it's been deleted. So let's go ahead and do that real quick, because we know how to use message boxes. We've used those tons of times before. If you're not familiar, uh, check the playlist for tons of videos on message boxes. All we need to do is come up here and import message box. So let's go from tkinter import message box. Now we can use message boxes. And so if we come back down here to that function we were just working with, let's see, here we go, remove one. Just down here at the bottom, let's just uh, add a little message box for fun, <laughs> right? And we can go message box dot, uh, let's go show info. There's lots, of, there's lots of different message boxes you can do. One that says danger, that has like a big X. Uh, show info is just a little info box. So we'll do that. And inside of here for the title of this thing, let's say deleted. I don't know. And then let's give a little message that says your record has been deleted or something, whatever, just a little something to, you know, give us a visceral sort of feeling that okay, it's actually been deleted, other than just having it disappear from the entry box, which doesn't really tell us anything. This is very explicit. So let's run this guy one more time. Check this out. Come over here. Let's come down here to the bottom and delete John Elder, number 30. Ooh, that makes me feel funny. Uh, we'll delete me. That's cool. So let's remove one selected. Boom, we get a little pop up box that says deleted. Your record has been deleted. We click OK. And these entry boxes have been cleared. And John Elder is gone. So we could come down here, close this, run it again, just to confirm, make sure that's actually been deleted. And sure enough, John Elder is gone from down there. ID number 30 is no more. And that's all there is to it. So that's how to delete a single record from the database. Very, very easy. Probably in the next video, we'll talk about deleting several records at once. That's a little bit harder. But uh, for just one record, very simple and uh, pretty fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.